Good morning, class. Today, we have been studying in our unit um, sustainability, the environment, and um, habitats, and we've been learning about parts of a plant. Um, so today, we, we will be labeling parts of a plant on a piece of paper, but instead of getting a plain old worksheet, we are going to draw our own leaves and plants. So today we'll be using a technique called contour drawing. Contour drawing is a technique used by artists um, to kind of outline the shapes of the object that you're drawing and then later in you go in and fill, fill in all the details. So for example, from, for my demonstration today I will be drawing a leaf and I'll be using, I have two leaves right here that I got from outside and I'll be using these. So if you look, you see the curved here. You can see a tip at the top and then a curve down. And then if you look really closely, you can see the vein go up the middle and then you have little small little veins come out on the side. So when I'm drawing this leaf and I'm using my contour line drawing, I'm going to be drawing these big lines first. And I'm gonna keep my, pen, my pencil on the paper and I'll keep my pencil and paper and draw the big lines first and then I'll go in and fill in the details and that's one of the um, helpful ways to use contour line drawing. So now before I jump into my demonstration we are going to look at some examples um, to kind of give you a better picture of um, what contour line drawing is and how it's used um, in art. So one famous artist um, who uses contour line drawing is called Henry Matisse. Um, Henry Matisse is uh, very famous for using contour line drawings to outline uh, the shapes of women and um, other things that he draws. And um, you can really see that he focuses on the outside lines first and then fills in details and shading and um, uses things like that. But um, you can really see his use of contour line drawing. So take a look at one of his drawings right now. Here's another one of his drawings. So that was Henry Matisse, and now we're going to take a look at another example to help demonstrate what contour line drawing is. So this picture that you're about to see is a picture of a hand. This hand only uses lines, um, so the shape of the lines, as you um, could tell, the shape of the line outlines the shape of the hand. So if there's curves and there's extremely, extremely good use of contour line drawing um, with this photo. Another really helpful hint in um, drawing contour lines to draw an object is using a visual. So you can get a visual in person like I did and I got leaves from outside. Um, so you could have it in person in front of you. It could be a, some, a person that you're drawing using contour lines to draw their face or their body. Um, you could get a visual from online or in a book um, and use that, but um, it's def it definitely helps to constantly be looking at your visual to kind of get the lines right. So now we're going to start with our demonstration um, on how to draw contour lines. So first I'm going to start with this green leaf right here and I'm going to look at the bottom stem and I'm going to put my pencil down on the piece of paper and I'm going to start drawing that stem and I'm going to follow the lines on the outside without picking up my pencil. So I start with the stem and I'm still I'm constantly looking at the piece of paper and also at my object. So I'm going all the way to the top, making a nice little tip, coming down and you can see that I'm keeping my pencil down the whole time while using my left hand to anchor the piece of paper. And I come in and I'm going to go through and make the middle stem. And I'm kind of doing the large lines first. So now I'm working on the details of the leaf and I'm doing some veins only using lines. I'm kind of following, I'm glancing at my paper I'm glancing at my leaf, I'm drawing straight fluid lines, and this can be used on all different types of objects, not just leaves. So 
on this nice detail work, just like that. Start on the other side. And then once we're done with all these details, we can go in and fill in the parts of the leaf and the parts of the plant to help us with our science and environmental studies. There you have it. So we have a nice drawing of a leaf, which kind of looks the same. <laughs>